guys, welcome to SourceFed. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Joe Beretta. The squids are crazy. Yeah. There's over 300 known species. They're strong swimmers, and some of them can even fly for short distances out of the water. This particular squid that we're about to tell you all about in a news-like fashion with some subtle jokes and maybe even an awkward moment or two is called this. It's a beaut, ain't it? The guy has hook-linked arm, grows to about five inches in length, and can self-amputate to fight off evil underwater dudes. Badass! Stephanie Bush from the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute has been studying the squid for the last decade, and she filmed 84 of them like a creeper, using remotely operated underwater vehicles when she noticed their peculiar defense mechanism. Squids normally have eight arms that taper to a point, but a bunch of the animals Bush saw had at least one short, stubby arm, like this, like this, and sometimes several nubs, like this. And on a few dives, the vehicle saw disembodied tips clearly severed, slowly sinking down to the bottom of the ocean. Whoa. The disembodied squid arms suggest that the squids could willingly break off its appendages, and Bush confirmed that ability when she brought some back to the lab. And one particular squid baby had a flair for theatrics. It grasped the textured bottom, rubber topped with fabric, of its holding container with the arm hooks, somersaulted, and released ink as it autotomized, detached part of all eight arms. The breaks happen at random points along the arm, but they always need some tension. Either the squid has to grab onto something or something has to grab it. Could you imagine the human equivalent. Gross. No, totally. But to add to the spectacle, once the arm has broken off, the tips flail for at least 10 seconds and glow vigorously from the light producing organs at their tips. The glow was bright enough that Bush could see it even with full lab lighting. Okay, but that doesn't really explain the whole function of, you know, being able to remove your arms when being attacked other than it being weird and kind of confusing. Well, you nailed it, Joe. The squid jettisons its body parts like an escape pod to confuse the distracted predator. That's kind of boring. And they can use the ability offensively too, Joe. When Bush threatened the animals with a bottle brush, several of them attacked it. The arms held their grip on the brush while the squid jetted off. It's apparently called attack autotomy. The squids also have camouflage, jet propulsion, ink, and distracting light producing arm tip abilities. BAMF SQUID! I am no longer bored with the detaching abilities of this squid. This is amazing. Yeah. And while some octopuses have the ability to break off their arms too, the Odelatron is the first known squid to do so itself. Great job evolving, cool stuff squids. Oh, and uh, also, the arms do grow back. Gosh, Joe, what can't they do? I don't know, play Nintendo? Oh, man, it sucked to be a squid. Can you imagine? Not being able to play Nintendo? Kill yourself. So what's your best method of getting out of a fight? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't, and click this annotation to go to sourcefed.com and see all the stories we've ever done, and all the stories of the day, too. There's five of them. I don't know if you know that. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Joe Beretta. Squids! You all right? Joe?